NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth. For decades, Voyager 1 has drifted farther from Earth than any human-made object in history, plunging deeper into the uncharted territories of interstellar space. Launched in 1977, it has long since passed the boundaries of our solar system, crossing the heliopause, the edge where the sun's influence wanes and the vastness of the galaxy begins. It now travels more than 15 billion miles from Earth, silently transmitting data across the darkness. Recently, however, Voyager 1 sent back a signal that left scientists utterly stunned. Within the cold, silent reaches of interstellar space, the spacecraft detected something that has defied every expectation, a strange, persistent anomaly that appears to originate from an unknown object drifting beyond the outermost regions of our cosmic neighborhood. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The data arrived not with a bang, but with a whisper, subtle coded pulses that seemed ordinary at first glance. The spacecraft's instruments detected low frequency electromagnetic waves, but these waves didn't resemble the typical background noise of space. Instead, they carried a pattern, a consistency that couldn't be explained by natural cosmic events such as solar winds or interstellar plasma interactions. These waves were rhythmic, timed with eerie precision, and their repetition was unlike anything previously encountered beyond the heliopause. The frequency was constant, yet not aligned with known pulsars or quasars. It was not interference. It was not a malfunction. The signals came from a region of space devoid of any known celestial bodies, as if emerging from a pocket of nothingness. The signals intensified gradually. Over the course of several weeks, they shifted in strength, fluctuating just enough to suggest a dynamic source something possibly in motion, changing or interacting with its environment in real time. This alone was unsettling. Voyager 1's surroundings were expected to be silent, a still ocean of sparse particles and cosmic dust. Instead, it had stumbled upon what appeared to be a beacon or worse, an eye in the dark observing silently. Scientists began ruling out all conventional explanations, natural radio emissions, gravitational lensing effects, plasma oscillations, none fit, the implications grew heavier with every passing day. One theory that emerged from the anomaly focused on artificiality. If the signal was not the byproduct of natural phenomena, could it be intentional? The repetition of the wave patterns, along with their seemingly structured intervals, suggested a design. The possibility, however terrifying, had to be entertained. Voyager 1, a relic of humanity's first bold venture into deep space, may have wandered into a region occupied by something else something advanced, patient, and quiet. If an intelligent source existed out there, the question wasn't just what it was, but whether it had noticed Voyager's presence. More disturbing still was the orientation of the signal. It was not broadcast indiscriminately like a star's radiation, but seemed to be focused, directed. Voyager 1 detected a gradual tightening of the waveform, as if the signal was homing in on the spacecraft itself, that suggestion carried immense implications. It meant this phenomenon, whatever its nature, was aware. Aware not only of Voyager's existence, but also its precise position, motion, and perhaps even its origins. The idea that something in the void had identified Voyager 1, a machine the size of a small car, built in the infancy of space exploration, was staggering. It was like throwing a message in a bottle into the ocean and having someone not only find it, but send a tailored reply. The structure of the signal began to display fractal qualities, patterns within patterns, self-replicating mathematical sequences that mirrored chaos theory and quantum mechanics. At first, they appeared abstract, but as data analysts dug deeper, they noticed the recurrence of prime numbers, an indicator that has long been hypothesized in scientific communities as a sign of intelligent communication. Prime sequences being universal and unambiguous across languages and species could serve as the first bridge between life forms separated by inconceivable distances. If what Voyager 1 had intercepted was indeed a communication, it may have been the first contact humanity has ever experienced, silent, distant, but unmistakable. As researchers continued examining the transmissions, another layer of concern emerged. The signal carried distortions frequency warps that followed no natural cause. 
This warping hinted at massive gravitational disruptions, akin to the kind expected near black holes or other exotic space-time structures. However, Voyager 1 was not near any known object of such mass. The distortions implied the presence of something invisible, possibly cloaked from traditional telescopic detection, a mass that bent space not through visible interaction, but through gravitational presence. It seemed Voyager 1 had wandered into the periphery of an unseen colossus. This massive, unidentifiable body, whether a rogue planet, an ancient artifact, or something beyond comprehension, appeared to be shrouded in a gravitational veil. Compounding the mystery was a secondary pulse embedded within the original waveform. This pulse was fainter, oscillating at a different frequency range, almost lost within the static. When isolated and amplified, it revealed another bizarre feature time delays. The pulses weren't just being received, they were being bounced. Voyager 1, acting as a passive observer, had become part of a relay, a system possibly stretching light years in scope. The delay intervals were not random. They aligned with distances far beyond the spacecraft's current location. Whatever was interacting with the probe, it was possibly part of a much larger network, one that communicated across vast distances, echoing through the fabric of space. The implications of such a network stretch beyond our current understanding. It suggested a civilization, or entity, that operates on timescales humanity can barely fathom. While Earth lives in seconds and minutes, this being or intelligence might communicate over centuries. Voyager 1, traveling at over 38,000 miles per hour, may have taken nearly half a century to reach the outskirts of its awareness. What if the anomaly wasn't a response at all, but simply the tail end of a message sent eons ago? A breadcrumb trail meant for beings who navigate the cosmos, not with speed, but with permanence. As the data piled up, further anomalies began to appear, not only in the electromagnetic readings, but in spatial telemetry. Voyager 1's trajectory exhibited minuscule deviations, tiny nudges off its expected path. These were not attributable to mechanical error, nor the influence of known celestial bodies. The only viable explanation pointed to gravitational disturbances, as if invisible hands were gently altering its motion. Could it be a planetary-sized object cloaked in perfect darkness? Or was it a structure, artificial and vast, resting dormant in the void? Either possibility was chilling. Space has always been portrayed as empty. Yet Voyager 1 had seemingly stumbled into something not only present, but deliberate. Fueling the enigma was the abrupt and chilling silence that followed. After the most intense period of signal activity, the transmissions ceased. Not gradually, not with a fade, but abruptly. Cut off as though someone had closed a door. The signal vanished. But the effect it left behind did not. Residual energy remained. Strange fluctuations in the probe's instruments that defied calibration. It was as if the encounter had left a fingerprint, a lingering memory etched into Voyager 1 systems. Scientists struggled to explain it. Nothing in the spacecraft's history had produced such signatures. Even solar storms, radiation belts, or mechanical stress paled in comparison. The craft itself, though aging, seemed to be reacting to something it could not identify, as if the machine had been changed. The silence raised more questions than it answered. Had the object moved away? Was the interaction a test, a fleeting brush between vastly different intelligences? Or worse, was it a warning, a barrier beyond which humanity should not tread? Voyager 1 had ventured further than any machine, any creature born of Earth, and in doing so, may have knocked gently on the gates of something greater. Whether benevolent or ominous, the response, if it was a response, was hauntingly precise. Deep within mission control rooms, the atmosphere was one of awe and unease. The realization settled heavily. This wasn't supposed to happen. Voyager 1 was meant to drift endlessly, silently. Its purpose was data gathering, not diplomacy. And yet it had trespassed into a territory where the rules of space changed. The patterns it recorded, the signals it relayed, were no longer within the scope of astrophysics alone. They delved into the unknown, a realm where science touches philosophy and where facts bleed into speculation. Some theorized that the anomaly could be a remnant of a long-lost civilization, one that no longer existed but had left automated sentinels drifting through the stars. These beacons, passive but aware, might be set to observe and evaluate. Others posited an even more unsettling idea, 
that the object was alive, not in the biological sense, but conscious in ways humans cannot comprehend. Perhaps a creature composed of electromagnetic fields, born not of carbon and water, but of light and gravity. In this framework, Voyager 1 had not encountered a machine, but a being, one that sensed the spacecraft as a tickle in its vast awareness. No matter the interpretation, the consequences are immense. It means that the universe is not a sterile void, but a place teeming with structure, intention, and possibly intelligence. Voyager 1, humanity's fragile envoy to the stars, may have been the key that unlocked a glimpse into this deeper reality. Its encounter with the object, brief and silent, may echo across generations. The signal it received, and the signal it may have inadvertently sent, could ripple outward into the galaxy, a spark in the void announcing that Earth exists and that we have stepped beyond the solar womb. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's discovery? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.